21st. Noise. So, because we have some uh, testing on the machine, that's why we're running the machine. This is a big design and we're testing something about this. So, let me back to our, our talk. Uh, this month, as you know, we start uh, to know what effect on your embroidery. In your, um, on your embroidery, it means embroidery machine or embroidery business or embroidery quality what effect on this business. So, because as I told you before, in Genio Embroidery Machine Factory, we are not only manufacturer. We can produce the machine and we know how to use the machine and what is related to embroidery uh, circle, we all know from A to Z. That's why if you want to buy a machine, you come to Genio. Because you will not only buy machine, you will buy the machine and also buy the experience. And we will advise you how to do your embroidery in a good way with a profit. Okay? So we know how to use the machine, how to produce the machine, how to use the machine. All about the embroidery business we know, so then we will give you this experience. So, you buy the machine from Genu, not only embroidery machine. You buy the machine and experience how to embroidery on this machine. Even you have experience about this machine, about the embroidery, but we will give you something you don't know. Or you, we remind you something you know but you do not do. So, anyway, you are an end user, start the business right now, or you have a long history with this business. If you know everything about embroidery as you know, and if you have no idea about the embroidery business, both we will help you to improve your embroidery business with Genu embroidery machine 
and GNU knowledge. Okay, so this topic we before we talk about what affected on your embroidery, we started with the oiling the machine, and again and again and again, I will inform you that the oiling the embroidery machine is very important for the machine life and the machine performance and the machine stitch quality. This you have to understand. Second, we talked about the thread and which kind of thread is suitable for which kind of business and which kind of thread I have to use on my machine and what is the difference between the thickness of the thread, how to choose, what to do. This is we already know. Third, we came to the tension and how to tension the machine, how to make the best quality of the stitch from your machine with the best tension, we already explained it to you. Then we went to the needle and we show you which needle is suitable for which kind of embroidery because different different kind of embroidery, different different kind of needles, different sizes of needles also. So you have to understand how to choose the right needle for the right embroidery. Okay? So we finished the needle, then fourth, we came to the fabric. How to use the fabric? What is the fabric? What about the fabric? How the fabric affect on your embroidery? And we explained about this one. Then fifth, we talked about the non-moving. And non-moving, the back support of the stabilizer, the back support of the, uh, the, the, the fabric. How to make, how to choose what is the stabilizer, what is the non-moving, which kind we have to use, what is the different, and we give you this experience. Yesterday we talked about the low tension. Low tension, the rotary hook that we talked about the exact about the bobbin and bobbin case and the picker, picker on the machine, the picker on the machine. And we know what is the related, what is the effect of this for the my embroidery. Today we have a last topic we will talk about what effect on your embroidery and it's the timing timing of the rotary hook timing of the rotary hook if you buy a machine from anyone big factory small factory the most important of assembling the machine that the timing is right if the machine quality is very good the machine parts is very high quality the machine running will affect it with the timing of the rotary hook. We will know today something very special and very professional about the timing, how to affect on our embroidery. So many people, even who have no have an idea about the machine, who have the machine, doesn't know about the rotary hook timing. They only always available with the, when they have a problem, go to the technician, go to the engineer to solve the problem. One of the big problems affected on the, our in business, in broadly business, that the timing of the rotary hook. So let's start about rotary hook. We will understand what is the rotary hook, where is this rotary hook, what is the relation between rotary hook and the needle, what is the relation between rotary hook and our embroidery business okay so let's start i will prepare today will be more on the board because i want to as you see here i will show you where is the rotary hook then you will find the rotary hook in one place maybe even i focus on it this is not enough to understand to see okay i make some photos big photos about the rotary hook to show you what is the rotary hook let me start
first, uh, you can see the machine here. First, what is the rotary motor? You can see here. You can see, you see no problem, really no problem, but just see this, this part of the machine. Yeah. 
and it's too small. I make it big here to understand more about that rotary hook. So, if I catch the rotary hook like this, I will find this position of the rotary hook here. It will be exactly, exactly like this. So, this is the position. Now, normally the rotary hook, this position. You will have the X on 90 degree to go back side of the, the here, have the main shaft catch here, then make the rotary hook running with the machine motor, okay? So it will be like this. This position is exact like this. I will make it exact like this, then you will understand. Here, as you see here, have the tip. This part, we need a tip of the rotary hook. Let me bring the other end. See, first, the, the middle one, this is the X, the first X, this one, okay? This part, back side, connect with the main shaft, connect with the motor of the machine to make the rotary hook running, 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 okay? So, this is the one. Second important part is the tip of the rotary hook. See, this part, it means this part is the tip of the rotary hook. And this is the most important part in our topic today. Because this part has the relationship between the needle and this part and the rotary hook and the thread and the rotary hook and down thread was the rotary hook. So this part will decide the perfect point to run the machine with a perfect stitch. So the tip of the rotary hook is very important. Here you can see the tip of the rotary hook and here you can see the tip of the rotary hook. Remember with me this part because this is very important when we make the timing. If I flip the rotary hook upside down, you will find this shape. Up, this is the hole here, as I told you, the X of the main shaft will tie it here, then when the main shaft running, the rotary hook will run, okay? So this is the part here, as you see, this is the hole to the main shaft connection. Second, we have one screw here, one screw. I can see this one screw out. Another one screw here. This actually screw, when tight, it will go inside the rotary hook. And from the other side, I have another same screw. So we have two screws, same like this, and only one screw like this. And these three screws to adjust our our timing and to adjust to catch the main shaft because back side as you see this will be the main shaft and I will find the three the three of the screws then it will give me the length between the needle and the rotary hook and will tighten the rotary hook with the main shaft so this three, one. Another part of the rotary hook, and this is uh, with uh, some screws, this we fix it, then this no need to touch, because this will not damage. And if damage this part, we need to change the, our rotary hook. So, the main part for the rotary hook, we need to know the tip of the rotary hook, and the three hole, the three, the three, uh, screws which holding the rotary hook on the main shaft. Good. This three hook, three screws, and the tip of the rotary hook is very important. From this view, I make another view for the rotary hook. I make it this way, and this view show that uh, the tip is down. See. As you see here, there is the tip here, the tip of the rotary hook here. 
This is the tip of the rotary hook, and you can find here the tip of the rotary hook. So this tip here is same like here. This from another view, this another view. So this the tip of the rotary hook. And as I show you before, this is one screw, two screw, three screw, which holding the rotary hook with the main shaft. Okay? Then from another view, I make it like this to show the inside rotary hook. Inside rotary hook, we keep, we send the bobbin case with the bobbin to make the stitch with the running, the rotary hook running and the needle down and the thread go from inside the rotary hook with the bobbin, bobbin and the stitch from up from the needle and the stitch, the, the, the thread from up from the needle and the thread from down from the bobbin and the rotary hook running making the stitch. Okay, this is the mechanism of the this how to run. Maybe later I, I have a video how to the mechanism of this running. We will show in our professional video for uh, uh, to know uh, more about this. But today, as what we have, I try to explain as much as I can. Okay. So now this is our rotary hook. Different shapes. The most important part we need to know the tip of the rotary hook, the tip of the rotary hook, and the three screws, three screws which holding the rotary hook on the main shaft. This is three screws. Because these three screws, I will make the rotary hook front, back, make a reglage to adjust our timing. So what is about, what is about the timing? Timing that, when the rotary hook runs, the needle go down, rotary hook run, and needle go down, the needle will go down to back side of the tip. Back side of the needle will have this tip. Let me explain about this with the big needle. When the rotary hook will run, if I show I saw from this view. When the rotary hook is run, when the needle go down like this, back side of the needle, as you see here, there is a little groove here, small groove here, back side. This small groove will touch, will come to the center with the tip of the rotary hook. It means the tip of the rotary hook will come to this back side of this part of the needle. As you see here, this part of the needle here will come back side of the groove of the needle. I will bring the, the uh, needle photo, I think it's here, then you can understand more. This is the needle from the side. Have a scarf here, little scarf. It means some part is a, a scarf here. Okay. The machine, the needle here had the hand or, or feet or leg or whatever. This is the machine body. The, the needle body is straight. Then come here to make it like scarf. Scarf. This is like scarf. Okay. 
So this is curve. Backside of this needle, the tip of the rotary hook will come. Okay, this is the tip of the rotary hook. It means that this is the tip here. This one will come to this point, backside of the needle. It must be not to touch the needle and not far away from the needle, from the scarf of the needle. So, from the scarf of the needle, this rotary hook tip will come to the middle of this scarf. If the scarf from this point to this point, it means the rotary hook, the rotary hook tip must be in the middle here. When the needle go down to maximum down of the movement, this tip must be in the middle here. This is this is one of the adjustment of the timing. And if the tip touch the needle with make a problem, if the tip away from the needle it will touch it will make a problem if the tip like this it means that away of the needle it will make a problem and if touch too much the needle it will cause a problem what will happen if the tip of the rotary hook this part is touching touching the needle it will cause a thread breakage and it will cause the needle broken Okay, because it touch this tip. If it's away from the tip, away from the tip, it will not have a stitch. We cannot find a stitch because the tip is very important to do the on the mechanism of the tying, making the stitch. So if away from the needle cannot make stitch, if too close to the needle will cause a thread breakage and the needle can be broken. Okay? So, it must be that side of the needle on this scarf between exact the center of this scarf and away a little bit from the, the needle. Away how many? You can talk about a paper. Send it between. This is the much. Even not one mm. It's less than one mm. If it's one point five mm or one mm away or two mm away, cannot make stitch like this. It must be like if you put one paper between, it will be okay. We have a, a, a professional video, especially for this one. If you want, we will send you. Then you will understand about the timing about the rotary hook. So, needle up with the thread on the needle, down the bobbin case with the thread inside the bobbin case and the rotary hook. So, the bobbin case with the bobbin and the needle and the rotary hook, these three guys making the mechanism of the embroidery stitch. If I have no needle, have no stitch, I have no moving inside the rotary hook, have no stitch. If I have no rotary hook, no stitch. It means that one, two, three parts affected or re responsible about making the stitch. And if the timing, as I told you, when we go down maximum, sometimes the down like 200 degree, sometimes the down 198, degree 189 it depends on the factory how they make the down needle position so needle down position this depends on some factories start from 200 202 then make it 198 or 197 this depends on different factories but normally i adjust my timing according 200 degree 200 degree it means for me is the down point to reach with the needle. Needle will go the down point. This down point, if I stop back side of the needle, the scarf from here to here, that's, that tip must be in the middle. 
if not in the middle, up or down, it cause a big problem. If so, the needle will the needle broken or thread broken. If the tip of the rotary hook touch the needle, it will make a thread, thread breakage and the uh, 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 the needle can be broken. Also, the tip with the needle is away from the needle. The tip of the rotary hook, the tip of the rotary hook away from the needle, then it will have no stitch. It means timing is very important to adjust your embroidery stitch. And if the timing is right, it means you will have embroidery stitch, very good embroidery, embroidery stitch, and will have no thread breakage or have no needle breakage it affected on your embroidery business. So if our timing is wrong, it means we will, it will cause the machine problem it will cause a longer time running on the machine for the design then you will lose more money that's why timing is very important rotary hook with the needle and the bobbin thread or the bobbin case these three reliable uh, related to the timing if our timing is good it means our machine will run very well our stitch will very will be very beautiful and will have no problem with our machine running and the machine quality stitch quality our work will be will be very good so if you need any question until this point please inform yes sir Mm, no, no ask. <laughs> okay, someone uh, maybe need in Arabic or something? Uh, let me see. Someone ask any question in Arabic, also you can check. Mm. If like that, we can just change to Arabic. If not, just to finish our talk. Okay. okay. If, we have, uh, no Arab. if you have no any question about the, the timing for this today, so we will give a quick summary about the timing. Timing is uh, the one important element element affects on your embroidery because the timing making the stitch. The timing it means a rotary hook with the needle, with the bobbin case or bobbin thread. This all related to making the stitch. If your stitch has a problem. It means your machine running will have a problem and the quality of your embroidery have a problem. It's the timing. If the timing exact what I explained here, then you will have a good timing and the machine will run very well without any thread breakage, without any needle breakage. No complain about the design quality, no complain about the, the machine running. So, this is how the timing affect on your embroidery. And uh, we have uh, some video you can explain, you can explain, can explain you more about the timing with the video and the machine running. Okay? So now I finished my uh, teaching video today and uh, Luna will continue, continue with you for some information. And if you have any question, you can just ask. I'm here.
sharing experience. So, uh, in our live show, you will have more experience to get. So, it's our uh, communist target, one of our communist targets is to give you some information about how to use this information, how to do the modern business, how to do better quality of the embodiment. And about this, again, I let me show you our most widely used embodiment machine. Yes, home use is okay. So uh, if you this working area is 350 by 500. A working area yeah so um uh, depend on the design of your depend on the depend on the design of your work in t-shirt lo uh, um, cap frame cap and uh, clothes we have different working area or embroidery area so just contact us if you have more information uh, if you want uh, some help in the type you need to choose you can contact us this is most widely used uh, for tubular items for um caps it's okay it's okay and uh, knitting fabric for woven fabric woven fabric is okay jersey and uh, we can show you how to do embroidery on cap on t-shirt on anything so you will have a better understand a better command of how to use it this is our tajima head tajima head is the best ty head ha type in the market and uh, we want to give you the stable quality to get a good reputation from you and uh, we have a group of tea to give you sale after sale service so no problem about our embroidery machine yes and this is Jing new this is our smart type and we also have magic type here yes this is our live show this is luna and the workshop Design our office anytime. If you want embroidery machine, you can contact us. Hello, bye. Okay, now it's finished. Almost finished. Who wants embroidery machine? I can give you the embroidery machine uh, special offer in September. This is the September only. Premier, welcome. You, you, uh, you are my old uh, clients and old friends. Yes, I have seen you many times. Are you looking for embroidery machine? Maybe you can comment to us. Today is still about our smart series. Smart series is the best uh, um, selling in our market, in our company. Yes, like this is uh, the white and the, the gray colors. Yes, the Tajima type, Tajima head type height. And uh, for seven, Head. Welcome. Do you want the embroidery machine? Any embroidery machine? Contact us. This is our working show. There are 12 needles, 12 different colors. Bye bye. See you later. Uh, today's live show is almost here. And we have live shows about how to do cap embroidery, do a t-shirt embroidery, uh, every, every live show. So if you don't want to miss our live show, don't forget to follow us, give us some likes so I know you, and give some more help. Thank you. Do business, do embroidery business. It's our, one of our targets. Bye-bye. This is Luna. And the next, in Jinyu, please, uh, please let, let us see you again, my dear clients. Bye bye. Are you sure that you want to stop? Yes, okay.